Hi, and welcome back to Struggle Sec. Here today, we're gonna discuss something that has been a big struggle in my career and big struggle in just finding information. I bet you all have had this experience too. You're trying to look up information about cybersecurity. You're trying to understand the different resources that are out there. And probably the first place that you went to was either Bing or more typically Google, google.com. And you're looking for information about cybersecurity. You're looking for learning resources. You're looking about really where to start. And that's what this video here is dedicated towards is those who are entry level, who are newer to cybersecurity, pretty much what are the three resources or three main resources that I would recommend for a newbie or a new person into cybersecurity to look at for learning, understanding and growing in the field. Pretty much the way that I look at it is that when you search things in Google, you can get a plethora of data. You can get a plethora of links, a plethora of information where you really don't know where to search. I mean, let's let's go here. Let me just do an exercise with you. And here, as you see, I have put cybersecurity learning into the search engine, right? Cybersecurity learning. And this might be a topic that you might want to search, especially seeing that you might be a new person in cybersecurity. And look how many search results that I got. <laughs> It says here, let me zoom in for emphasis, 146, that's not thousand, 146 million results. How does somebody sift through 146 million results? I mean, and they range, right? There's plenty of ads here about an MIT pro 24 week cybersecurity program, but it even gets into some YouTube videos and some cybersecurity training here. I mean, it just ranges. So here, this video, I wanna go to several resources that I think that will really help you out in your cybersecurity journey. So let me start with the first one. And the first one is cyberseek.org. Cyberseek.org, I'm not exactly sure on how it came about or where it came from, but I've seen it mentioned in many circles within cybersecurity. And one thing that I wanna point out here is this whole explore a career pathway. So let's jump into there and I'll zoom in a bit for your viewing pleasure. So here you have several things that are mentioned here, these feeder roles, entry level, mid level and advanced level. And these are different roles and disciplines that might the feeder roles feed into cybersecurity roles and kind of create some type of pathway here. And really what I want you to get out of this is to understand some of the different topics and some of the different titles that you might in, in that might occur when you're searching for different roles in cybersecurity. So kind of getting you very familiar with some things that you might see on job postings or within the field or, or even if you're looking up a person. Let's start there with that cybersecurity analyst um, that it says it's a mid level role, but it's more of like an entry level role or entry level title for an analyst. So it kind of tells you how it feeds in from one to another. And then here at the bottom of the screen, it gives you some data about what a cybersecurity analyst is, average salary that, that, that you're seeing here, some other job titles that are equivocal to that of a cybersecurity analyst, security analyst, information security analyst, security operations analyst, very good information, even things right as it concerns degrees or education levels. Here we're seeing maybe not a bachelor's degree, maybe like 11 different posts have that there. Um, 74 have bachelor's degrees and graduate degrees. So this is kind of going from um, the CyberSeq website is pulling this information from different job postings and kind of placing it, it, it here. So we see that there are like 74 different uh, posts where it's kind of telling you like, hey, uh, a lot of these job postings for the cybersecurity analysts are requiring that of a bachelor's degree. And not typically like you don't necessarily have to have a computer science degree, a cybersecurity degree. It can almost be any degree. Um, so it just says a bachelor's as that foundation. You're even looking at the different job postings, 28,651 job postings, but even some certifications. And that's another video that'll be coming up soon is that of what certifications are important for when you're jumping into the cybersecurity field. And one that I would recommend is this CompTIA Security Plus but other ones that we're seeing is the SANS GIAC and uh, the CISA and the CISM and the CISSP, which typically isn't a, an entry level role or entry level certification, but it's mentioned here for some of those postings. 
and then even some skills. I think this is very valuable for somebody new, knowing different skills that are important to jumping into cybersecurity for a cybersecurity analyst role. That of Linux, network security, threat analysis. So really, CyberSeq, very good resource, more particularly the CyberSeq career pathway. And I think that this is very important to have under your arsenal when you're really trying to understand some of these roles and some data about those roles for cybersecurity. So I'll leave that one to you, to you. The next one is at times this website can be very difficult for new people, but I want to kind of give you a couple of pointers about Reddit and cybersecurity that might be able to help you. And I'm going to recommend one particular subreddit. That's where you see this, this, this R it, in, it indicates a subreddit it's called CS career questions or cybersecurity career questions. So it almost looks a little difficult to navigate here. Let me just point out a couple of fields, right? The about community. This kind of gives you just like an overall understanding of what the um, subreddit is about. And then you get, and I like these here because just kind of scrolling, you can see some titles of some postings, but you might not really know how to navigate it. One thing that I do is that I'll go under hot or I'll go under new. So when you go under new, it pretty much tells you the most recent post by people as it concerns cybersecurity questions. So you might be able to scroll through through here. But one main thing that I do is that I'll go to top and then I'll go to maybe top this month or or, or something. And then this will tell of those posts on this subreddit that has had the most traffic, the most information about it. So. That's what I would do. But more specifically, I want to point out that this subreddit and many subreddits on the Reddit website, it pretty much gives very real time information about people who are in the field and giving information and their feedback or their questions about cybersecurity careers. Let me point out a couple of here that that I found that were pretty good. Some of them can be pretty inspirational, right? So this one is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And it says, I'm not sure where to start, but I have finally got a job as a cybersecurity analyst. Then this person goes ahead and they explain more about how they got that role, some of the specifications that they got. They finished uh, some certifications in less than two years. They spent two or three weeks of intense studying. And something that I want to point out here is that, hey, this is giving you real time, real world feedback on people who are just like you, brand new to cybersecurity and brand new to the field. So Reddit and more specifically, the security career advice um, subreddit is one that I think is very good. OK, and this is another one. And um, I'll also have this one in the description of the video. Another one here. This one is more as it concerns that of cybersecurity news. How do you know what's happening in the field? How do you know what's going on? You typically want some type of news feeds or some news sources to tell you, hey, this is the new newest breach. This is the newest vulnerability. These are where the bad guys are doing things. So these are some skills that are important to have. So here I like the Krebs on security website because uh, Krebs, he was an actual cybersecurity practitioner. He was somebody who was who was doing work within cybersecurity. So he's very pointed in a lot of what he reports here about some of the cybersecurity news. So let's zoom in and just look at a couple, right? The inside Ireland's public health ransomware scare. You can go into that and kind of give some get some understanding and click on it here. Right. So then you're getting here into some of the information about what this breach was. And I would say that as you're going through this, you don't need to know everything. You don't need to understand everything. But one thing that's important is that you start to get some of the language that's spoken of within the field, right? You, you're, you're, you're getting at the consulting firm, PricewaterCooper, recently published lessons learned from the disruptive and costly ransomware attack. So you're getting some language here, right? Ransomware attack. What's a ransomware attack? You can Google that, gain a better understanding. They also mentioned some things about Windows 7 systems. What's that? Um, that health systems IT administrators failed to respond. So this is very helpful for you to really kind of get some of your cybersecurity news being at the latest and understanding the latest and greatest information that's happening. So that one is the Krebs on security. And more specifically, you go into the category of data breaches on the website. Again, that'll be in the, uh, the description. 
And then I want to give you a bonus one too. All right. This is an organization that I used to work for. It's called Mandiant. They previous were Mandiant FireEye, but Mandiant, which is a front lines cybersecurity consulting firm. And what they do is that they have practitioners in the field who are responding to incidents, who are doing penetration tests and red teaming exercises. And in their blogs, they are describing what they're actually seeing. They're describing very technical and detailed breakdowns and analysis of security events. So here, let's just go into this one from December 15 very quickly. And I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but this is telling about the log for shell. And it tells about the initial exploitation and mitigations recommended. Again, getting some language here. Don't have to understand every single thing that's happening here, but giving you some language, giving you some understanding about what practitioners uh, talk about and the information that's in, that's important in this particular cybersecurity field. So they get into some very specific details, even in getting to the CVE, the common vulnerabilities and, and enumeration, right? They give the number and everything. You can look that information up and then even getting into some background about the vulnerability, seeing some of the, um, the some, some of the abuse protocols here. I mean, this can get very detailed. And again, don't be, don't be, um, I guess, intimidated by the language, intimidated by the information just kind of use these as resources to go into to gain a better understanding of what's being talked about in cybersecurity. again this is for the new new people and it's okay right it's okay to not understand and it's okay to struggle we're here on struggle sec we are normalizing struggle in cybersecurity. those are the four right three in the, the the fourth one is a bonus uh, resources on the internet that I think that are very good for newer people. Cyberseek, that of uh, the Krebs on security, the Reddit sub Reddit, the cybersecurity career questions. And then finally that Mandiant cybersecurity blog, very good resources. And if you have any questions, you can talk down in the comments. Let me know if you have any additional questions. I'll try to res respond to those. And eventually I'll even add to this list of, of resources. Hopefully this was helpful and come back, struggle along with me where I'm normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is all new to me, but subscribe, hit the notification bell and come back and join me for more videos and more content. Thank you.